Hey guys, I thought I'd put together a quick video on the build I use for soloing elite chest areas and occasionally parts of expeditions, since I get the question a lot. As a solo player, I don't claim to have a finger on the pulse of what's optimal or best in slot, but I'll talk about what works for me. In my experience, soloing is mostly just learning enemy attack patterns and how much of your rotation you can actually fit in between dodges, but I think Spear is a really good weapon for that kind of challenge. Light attacks are fast and rewarding when frequent dodging forces you to delay other abilities, and the spear's long reach makes it easy to start attacking immediately after a dodge or a roll. I run 300 decks with 100 constitution and the rest strength, but there's a lot of wiggle room depending on how much damage you're willing to give up to be more durable. As long as you have at least 150 dexterity for the reduced cost to dodge, I'd say this build works. On the other hand, if I'm learning how to dodge something with frequent attacks, like Daisy before the nerfs, I actually ran 250 strength on top of 150 dexterity, which gave me extra stamina regen and light attacks, since I kept running out of stamina while dodging too much and too soon. Until recently, I always ran full heavy with an emphasis on physical armor, including onyx gems and rune glass. I still think that's the right call for brimstone elite areas until you really know their attack patterns, but I'm starting to slip into light armor for the original stuff, like palace, sirens, and merc where they aren't full of mobs that slap and stagger you with a shield in a split second. Even in light, I like to prioritize physical armor, so for crafting, that's been Shadewalker light armor and Orichalcum heavy plate for the heavy set. As for armor and weapon perks, I'll just go down the list. Fortifying perforate on a spear is incredible, but enfeebling skewer is the next best, or even situationally better if you can maintain it on a single boss or enemy. Assuming you already have those two, the only other spear perk I run is Keen Vault Kick, which is just a crit buff. Then I like to look for an amulet with Fortified, which is worth it because an extra 29% uptime on Fortify from Perforate is pretty big. Then there's your self-healing perks like Life Stealing on your weapon, a ring with Leeching, and an earring with Regenerating. Hardy is also pretty good. It's not required, but I will say I got it a while back, and now I can't imagine playing without it. Next is the skill tree. I think this is pretty standard as far as Impaler builds go. I think I just copied it from the first guide I read back when I first started playing, and I haven't really touched it or experimented with it since. The biggest difference I've noticed between me and other Spear players is probably just that I take Vault Kick instead of Sweep. I do this mostly for the cooldown reduction, but also because it seems to stun in a lot of places where Sweep just doesn't. It works well for soloing since it's easier to land when you're in full control of where your enemy is, and when you don't have other players breaking its stun too early. As for heart gems, I like to run Brutal Stone Form for a bit of stagger immunity on demand, plus some AoE damage. I uh, haven't really tried the others, but this one's just so comfortable I can't imagine giving it up. Then there's the last thing, weapon pairings. Bow's a comfortable and pretty conventional option for when you want ranged attacks, and a decent player, so not me, could probably weave between bow and spear to do even more damage, or even kite things, whereas I just use it to pull. When I'm feeling cautious, or when I think that I'm going to get hit in the face a bunch, I like to go with a Void Gauntlet. All I know about the Void Gauntlet is that Oblivion is fantastic for refilling stamina in a pinch. But me, I'll mostly use it as setup, like when I'm about to fight a bunch of things at once and I need a safety net in case I waste a bunch of dodges or run out of stamina. Essence Rupture is the only other skill worth mentioning since it marks an enemy and basically gives you 20% life stealing against them for 10 seconds. This won't be enough to make a difference against most bosses if you're getting hit by things you shouldn't, but it can be really helpful against regular elites and other trash until you've learned the attack patterns. It also works as a stopgap until you pick up some self-healing perks, and the refreshing Rupture weapon perk helps its uptime if you can land hits consistently. Overall, though, I end up doing like 99% of my damage with the spear, since it's easier to keep the rhythm of attacking and dodging up if I'm not swapping weapons, and the cooldown reduction from light attacks and vault kick just keep downtime to such a minimum that I've never really needed to do anything more. So that's my setup. Not as brief as I'd hoped, but hopefully it'll be useful to someone. I'll leave a quick slideshow here of images showing my gear, attributes, and perks. Until next time, thanks for watching, and have a good one.